Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Hero from Tick Deck and Info. And oh, can we get. Ah, darn it. Can't see him. He's probably on the other side of the hill. Yeah, he's on the other side of the hill, so we wouldn't have seen him, anyways. Um, Welcome back to another sub Saturday. And today we have. If I can actually get this thing to pop up. There we go. David. Oh, crap. Um, David Stern? David Stern? David? Ah, dang it. We're just gonna call you David. <laughs> I'm not sure which one it is. I hope I got one of them right. <laughs> oh, cave on us. Oh, we get spotted there. That's unfortunate. Um, pretty good matchup for being in a Dicker Max. And I just realized that my colors are off. Dum, 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 dum. Don't mind me. Hey, look, they're purple. And then fix this thing. And there we go. Now our thing looks normal again. We are in a Digger Max, and this is actually a very fun tank. It is pretty slow though, but it gets a pretty damn good gun, which apparently... Oh, there we go. 300 alpha damage, 169 penetration, which is, eh, pretty good. And I think we're in Amsterdam. I mean, just look at all those bicycles. Must be in Amsterdam. Um, heading over here, now, this game itself is not the most spectacular you're ever gonna see. You kind of get a lot of quick bounces in this thing. Um, not bouncing on his tank, but his shell's just not panning. Um, I had to watch his replay, which I normally almost never do, but um, the email title was a bit descriptive. Or, yeah, um, not very descriptive is a better way of putting it. Um, and it had something in, the, in it that I had a sneaky suspicion what was going to happen. I'm not going to spoil anything, I'm not going to say anything, but I kind of figured this is what was going to happen. And, yeah. Oh, can we get a shot to give you one there? No, he's fine. Well, he's dead. Um, if you look at the map, we'll see that it's not quite a lemming train, because half his team was over there, but this looks like what a lemming train games look like. Um, looks like... Ah. You have a group of Friendlies on one side of the map, group of enemies on the other side, and you just have a yin yang um, kind of lemming train going on. T thirty five, T thirty four eighty five is on the other side of the hill, so we don't have a line on him anymore. Now the downside to the uh, Dicker Max here is the speed. This thing is not fast, as you can see. It takes a long time to get into position. Now it is okay for stealth. Sadly, it's an open top vehicle, so you can't have vents on this thing. Passing up another ally here. We will hold this fire up to that point, so that's nice. Um, sometimes, just, you know, it just happens. You fire, and at that exact moment, somebody decides to uh, walk straight through your uh, line of fire. No, well, they both miss. Now, one good thing about the uh, Dicker Max. Probably can't see it here, but yeah. Well, you could kind of see it there. That depression. I think off the top of my head this thing has like 12 degrees or something ridiculous like that. It has an insane amount of depression which is really good. You can really hold down this tank. Let's actually take a look here. And darn. I don't even know how that bounced. It seemed to hit that flat plate there in the middle. Not even this uh, upper front plate. That one goes wide, hits his tracks. David here is sick of it, aims for the top of the turret there, lobs a shell into the turret, there we go. <laughs> so we have a T1 Heavy remaining on the enemy team, the T3485 and two Arties. Hmm. The Chinu here is going in after the T3485, but he has a PZ SFL plus a fluff waffle wagon on his other side, trying to put a shell in. We had a quick line on him there, I think there's some pillars down there that are probably in the way. Oh. <laughs> and another bounce. 169 pen is not the most fantastic. It, it's not bad at all, but it's just not quite the best. Do you have a line? Yes we do. We go. Wow, that was weird. It like took a second before he actually died. Okay, T3485 is dead. Good. Our arrow finished him off. Now we just have two artillery and a PC fluff waffle waffle wagon. Very 
Yes. Turn your turret. Why was his turret pointing in that direction? The ARL. Maybe his turret was damaged or something, because that made no sense. Ooh. Both artillery and the PC fluff waffle wagon. Finish off the artillery. Yeah, that's why we had a line on him earlier. Probably just barely through these pillars. At certain angles, let me pause it real quick. At certain angles, as you can see here, you have no line, but if you look a little bit more like that, you do actually have a line, and we were up there. So, yeah, we might have just barely had a line on him ish. Um, or maybe just through. It's a bit push. Like through there, like straight through. Because that is roughly where he uh, was. Yeah, eh, doesn't matter. Moving on. Oh crap. And he's, how does. Okay. Seriously. How did he spot us when there was a bush between us? There's no opening gap that he could have spotted us through because he instantly hit us the moment we came around. So. Maybe we were still spotted? I don't know. That was a weird ass shot, but. Yeah, um, he just loaded an HE round for that thing. Um, you can do the same against this tank, by the way, but HE rounds work wonderfully. Let's carry on. Just the artillery remaining. Yeah, this thing really is not fast. <laughs> About 20 is the uh, cruising speed, so pretty damn slow. Back to my camera view here. Checking back here. Nope. Nothing. Now, Artillery didn't try to put a shell into her face, so I'm gonna assume that he didn't have a line on this, probably. We haven't been spotted yet. I have no idea where this dude is hiding, so might as well cap. There he is! And we put a show into him, start moving back and forth. Now, what I would recommend, I know it's very difficult with a TD though, but go diagonally rather than back and forth because when you think about the aim circle of an artillery, it's an oval when he aims at a flat trajectory. Um, the higher up the arc, the more of a circle it is on the ground, but the flatter he aims, so the closer to him on the ground, it's going to be an oval. So, this guy is going to shoot, and he's going to shoot straight here. So, we're downhill a little bit from him. So, either way, his show is going to arc towards us. And, it doesn't really matter if, with the HP we have as well, if it hits or not, or if it was going to land slightly behind us, because we're tall enough that he will still hit us, if it lands slightly in front of us. So, the best evasive maneuver would be to drive sideways rather than back and forth, in this case. Um... But it's difficult with a TD that doesn't have that much degree of uh, turning on its gun. It's very narrow on this tank. I think in total you have this kind of arc. I think this is maxed out actually. Yeah, this is maxed out. So you have like this kind of momentum which is very little. So it's difficult to go sideways, but yeah. So we're almost reloaded, almost reloaded. Really? You can actually see the two shell paths cross each other. Let's get a better angle on that. Yeah, I guess there. It's uh, visible. If you look over here, you can see our shell and you can see his shell. As you can see, his shell trajectory was a bit of a lobbing kind of shell, so going back and forth really didn't help us at all. Um, Yeah, these games do not come by often. I think in all the time I've been playing, Mutually Assured Destruction, I've only seen it twice, I think, or three times in my own games. I mean, I've seen a couple of replays. Uh, actually, Quickie Baby did a replay, I think, recently and had a, a similar incident. But, um, yeah, this is the worst. They just shot each other at the exact same time and hit each other and killed each other. Unbelievable. That sucks. <laughs> Let's take a look at the stats. So... <laughs> Um, Mastery Badge First Class, we got the Eye for an Eye Medal, Bruiser, Dualist, Fire for Effect, High Caliber, and a Top Gun. 
Man, that sucks. <laughs> a freaking draw. Oh, man. Walked away with top experience here by quite a bit. Well, we could double the experience of the next person. Um, walked away with 1,080 experience, 2,000 damage done. Close to uh, double what the next person did. I mean, we were topped here in a pretty good TD, so... Yeah. Well, it, it's not a good TD as such, um, because you cannot take hits at all. But if you can stay hidden and just snipe the crap out of people, this thing can do a metric buttload of damage with that alpha damage on that gun. So, yeah. Fired 14, hit 13, pen 9. Penetration is less than stellar, but it's definitely not bad. But it's not, woohoo, I can pen anything kind of pen, but it's not bad at all. So, 2000 damage done. Um, two shots by the looks of it from range. Took five hits to the face, all of them penetrated, including that HE shell at the end there. Mm -hmm. Spotted four, damage seven, destroyed six. 346 spotting damage, 26k profit. This is a premium tank. As you can see, the shell cost is pretty cheap. For 14 shells, we paid 8k credits. So that's not too bad. Um, we did receive... Um, I always forget what this is called. Uh, the, the... Something. Um, that we did well and you still get experience and money as if this was a win, something like that. Uh, I keep forgetting a damn name. Anyways, so we got some extra credits there, we got some extra experience to walk away. Without a double, still 1404 experience. So that's the uh, action payout that I forgot what it was called. Plus the experience for it being a premium vehicle because it is only a tier 6, it gets 40% I do believe. It's only a... Um, this looks like 50%. 390 divided by 2 should be 45. Um, so yeah, slightly less. So yeah, 40% then. Okay, that was correct. So yeah, um, nice experience payout. And yeah, that ending though. <laughs> Let's take a look at our next uh, replay here. And here we are with our second game. It's actually... Not the minimap, just a tad. And here we are with what is the name this time? Diano. Diano 95. In the Tiger 2. Now, as most of you know, the Tiger 2, I'm not really a fan of this tank. Um, it's just it feels so lackluster for tier 8. Like the KV4 has its armor, the RS3 has good mobility plus reasonably good armor. The, um, what else do we have? T32 is good at hold down. Bit of a lackluster gun though. Um, the, what else do we have? The, the, the um, uh, 110 supposedly has good armor, but uh, I still need to get the better gun on that thing. <laughs> oh, that seems like a typical shot for me. First shot into a tier 6. Track damage. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna try blind shot? Yes, we are. Do another one? Uh, looks like he wants to attempt another one. Uh, no. Didn't work. T32 spotted. No, we can't get a line on him. So, all the other enemy, not enemy, all the other tier 8 heavies just seem to have something going for it. And for me, the Tiger just seems to not have any of them. I, I just can't quite make out what this tank is supposed to be. Um, it doesn't have speed, like, the speed is terrible on this thing. The gun, well, I don't have the final gun on mine yet, no, we don't have a line on that. Um, I have the second to last gun, which is not much worse than the final gun. I think the final gun is just slightly better reload and, um, better aim time a little bit or something like that. Can't quite seem to make up his mind where he wants to go, but a T28 prototype definitely qualifies as having to go this way. I put a truck... Uh, what? A truck? A shot into his track that apparently... Uh, that <laughs> I need coffee! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah! Did we hit the gun barrel there? Did... did we? I'm not sure. As he decides to dip into the water. Okay. Well, I guess it's not a bad idea because then he can go hold down. And a side shot. There we go. Finish off the T28. Yeah, that uh, T32 actually did not make a poor choice there by going down, but he has to show a little bit too much of a hole. Yeah, that was never gonna go through. Oh look, we have a team killer! How nice! Always nice to have those people on your team. 
So, even with side scraping, I feel like this thing struggles um, to just not get penetrated. I still feel like this thing gets penetrated all the time. Why did he forget about us? What the hell? <laughs> okay, um, sure. You know, uh, it's not like we weren't here before, but okay. <laughs> that was bizarre. So we have a couple of tanks back here. So the armor on this thing supposedly has armor, but I've never found it. I always find myself getting penetrated from every and any angle. And just get annihilated on my uh, target too. Side scraping doesn't seem to work in this thing. Um, the side just gets, I don't know, overmatched, continuously penetrated. Not sure what the case is, but... Oh, we do get shot there by a little sneaky bugger. Then hides behind the corner. Oh yes, please. Well, so far we haven't taken any damage from him. So, we can just ignore him. Oh, lovely side shot there. Wow, why don't I ever get this lucky in my Tiger 2? I don't think I've ever bounced this many shells in my Tiger 2, ever. Do we get a line on him? Yes, we do. Turret of the Lowe is surprisingly bouncy. It is the back of his toy, so. Ooh, that sucks. Got ammo right there. Should we? No. Fucking Derpy just tried to hit us. We're getting wrecked from behind here. Oh, crap, this is not good. I'm not sure why he's ignoring the things behind him. Well, right now the T21 is just tracking us. T71 is reloading. We gotta pull back before we ever turn around. And he can see. Oh, or not? I was gonna say he can see your gun. T71, get into cover. That thing will wreck the face. Oh, just barely managed it there. And we finish him off. Good shot there. Holy crap, Rooney! Still has a little bit to deal with, and he does know we're here. Well, then again, we had the T-32 earlier that definitely knew we were there, and he forgot about us, so who knows? So up north we have a WZ-111 and a T-20. There's the Lerwe, waiting for that side shot. Lower plates, also good. Two health left. Maybe switch to an HE round at this point. Um, if he has two health left, he can't risk it not penetrating. But we penetrated anyways. Finishing him off as well. Coming out victorious out of this just ugly corner. We are getting shot from every direction there. It's a miracle we didn't die. Now, I'm going to assume that most of you did not just hear a horse in the back of your head, but um, maybe some of you did, and then if you do, you know what movie I'm referring to, if you don't, never mind. I'm probably getting too old. And that's GG. Let's take a look at the stats. Well, you know what, I just decided that it's, I'm not old, the movie's just a classic. There, fixed. Anyways, uh, Mastery Batch, Ace Tanker, we got a Bruiser, Duelist, Fire for Effect, and a Top Gun. Only got spotting damage on a T-28 prototype, the rest we pretty much just had to kill ourselves. Walked away with 1,209 experience, very nice. I don't think I have an ace tanker on my Tiger 2 yet, but I don't have it fully researched yet either. I still need a final gun, so hopefully that will make a little bit of a change there. Um, 2,600 damage done, 7 kills. Our eyes 3 did pretty well as well. Let's take a look at the damage here. Eh, meh, meh. Drops off pretty quickly here. Um, but at least we only had one person who didn't do any damage. Um, they had 3 that's always disappointing to see. Wait, is that the one we killed? Yes, it is. Okay, he didn't know that. Mm. Yeah, I guess he just saw us, bounced two shots, and died. That sucks. <laughs> hate those games. So we had a lovely team killer. Um, what did he do? Yeah, that that's more than one shot. You don't do that much in one shot on the MT-25, so... Lovely. He possibly got a ban out of that. Um, and we still lost money. That sucked. Don't think we shot any premium rounds, as far as I know. Um, so why the hell did we lose money? 17k? Oh, these shells are expensive. That's about 1k uh, a shell. That makes sense, but ouch.
And we were pretty much destructed though. If we didn't, yeah, we had what, 50 health left? So yeah, that's probably why. Otherwise this number would have been lower and would have made a tiny profit, but yeah, it was not to be. Um, Fart 17, hit 15, pen 12. I guess we had uh, five shells that didn't do anything. So that's sort of quote unquote wasted 5k. Um, if we didn't have that, we would have made a profit, and then it was how damaged we were. So yeah, yeah, still not bad though. But I don't know. Um, let me go, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Tiger two. After playing the tiger, for me, the tiger two just seems like a giant disappointment. It doesn't have the armor, even though it has way more armor than a tiger. It doesn't have mobility. The gun is not bad, but yeah, <laughs> it just. Yeah, it doesn't quite feel up to snuff with a tier 8 gun. Um, no, it's not a bad gun at all. It's just, it doesn't, I don't know, it's just eh, <laughs> a little bit too less uh, reload speed on it, or the aim time, or both, or, I don't know, it's just, yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say about this thing. It's not a bad tank, it's not like I can't do well with it. It's just, it, compared to other tier 8s, it just doesn't feel quite as much fun, or solid, or functional, or... The whole tank is just meh. <laughs> so, let's take a look here. Um, 2600 damage done, 1400 damage blocked by armor. Yeah, I never get this lucky. Um, 26 times shot to the face, 13 penetrated, 13 did not. Yeah, that's mostly the T21 that just couldn't pen us and switch to HE. Kind of feel sorry for the guy. The T21 was a terrible tank. Horrible machine that really just had to passively scout. There was nothing else you could do, and that's piece of shit tank. So I do feel sorry for the guy. Um, damaged 8, destroyed 7, 109 spawning damage. Woohoo! Um, yeah, just the T28 prototype there. Like I said, we lost a little bit of money, but walked away with a nice 2400 experience. So, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.